Welcome to all of you who are listening to this presentation. My name is Katrina De Silva and I will be discussing some of the trends and issues of integrated technology in the society and environment classroom. This report is about some different resources that can be used by ICT in a primary school classroom from Year 4 upwards in the learning area of SOS. Using ICT in the classroom for SOS enables students to efficiently and effectively access digital information which will assist with investigating SOS issues and solving SOS problems. ICT is important because it helps students to learn more quickly, productively and interactively. This article discusses how computer games can help in educating students. A well-designed computer game will encourage interaction, exploration and creativity in the virtual playing environment. Computer games have the ability to provide students the opportunities to experience something themselves and also something that is engaging and interactive at the same time. There are both strengths and weaknesses of computer and simulation games in the classroom. These are that the user is in control and that they have been found to be effective in promoting students to learn. More importantly for students, computer games provide them with motivation and they also make learning fun. Weaknesses are that students need guidance when using games and simulations and particularly when working in a relatively new content area. The World Wide Web is a fantastic resource for teaching in SOS as it provides interesting and useful information for students in the classroom. A brilliant website reference for kids is FactMonster. It provides students with both entertainment and educational resources. It is an excellent resource for SOS and geography as it contains a world geography guide with a detailed atlas and encyclopedia with profiles providing information on different countries, geography, maps, history, population and more. A strength of FactMonster is that it is adapting to the future of education by increasing ICT in its resources. This is clear in its content and the activities on the site. It is also colourful and fun to use. A weakness is that resources are limited to those that FactMonster chooses. Web quests are inquiry oriented activities using resources from the World Wide Web. They are designed to guide students to important and high quality sources on the web and to support learners thinking as they use the information found. This video discusses what web quests are. It also discusses the many reasons why teachers should use them and instructions are provided for how to make a good web quest with many examples that are given from webquest.org. Web quests can be used in the classroom as a collaborative activity in which students create a product, fostering cooperative learning and to teach students how to be independent thinkers. Strengths of web quests are they allow teachers to control which websites are used to find information, Validity and reliability of sites can be ensured. Teachers can design their own for different subject areas and make sure that students go to relevant websites. They make sure that students are on the right track. Resources and, sources and links are provided. They encourage learning through the internet and they are flexible. Weaknesses of web quests that are that it can be hard to identify a typically effective web quest and the topic may not be relevant or appropriate. A podcast is an audio or video file archived in the internet which can be accessed by a personal computer. This podcast is a live recording where several hours were spent playing and, on, and learning about Google Earth and then discussing findings. They linked data and media with geography from certain internet websites to Earth locations using the Google Earth program. Google Earth has many strengths and abilities in that it shows many skills related to SOS and geography, such as combining satellite imagery and maps, and it contains the entire world's geographic information students will need. Weaknesses are that the program consumes a large amount of RAM, so older machines might experience performance issues in that the maps are not always up to date in the free version. There are some great resources for using ICT in the area of SOS in the upper primary school classroom, such as computer games, the World Wide Web, podcasts, Google Earth and web quests. There are also many others that are valuable as teacher resources and also for the students to access in the classroom. ICT helps students develop new thinking and learning skills and can also produce creative solutions which support learning. As tools, computer-based technologies contribute in different ways to how teachers teach and how students learn. The latest and future trends in ICT help students to learn more quickly, productively and interactively. ICT helps students develop new thinking and learning skills and it can also produce creative solutions which support learning. The challenge for teachers is to incorporate educational computing in their SOS programs in ways that add value such as using the latest technology. There are some disadvantages and issues when using ICT for SOS in the classroom. One of these is having insufficient resources to use, such as how many computers and resources are available to the students. 
Another disadvantage is teachers having insufficient time to review and plan lessons incorporating the use of resources. Teachers won't be able to use ICT tools and resources appropriately if they have a lack of confidence and comp competence and a lack of pa pedagogical or practical training on how to operate them. Thank you for listening to and watching this presentation.